guys, I'm the Sprinter 7 and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make YouTube's logo in Paint.net. And before we get started, I'm just going to say if you haven't watched the version on GIMP 2, then please select the video that's going to pop up on the screen right now. Okay, so let's get started by opening Paint.net. And just to remind you, it's not going to be as professional as it, it was in GIMP 2, because it's not as professional like. And go to Image and Canvas Size. Here we will resize it to about 640 to 400, which will be the GIMP's default and is perfect to make this YouTube logo. And the th next thing you're going to have to do is open up a new layer, go to the red color, any red color you want, and then go to rounded rectangle. I'm going to make a rounded rectangle about that big and fill it in. With that same red color. The next thing you're gonna do is move it or move it over to about here. And if you don't like the um, normal version, you can just go ahead and go to your rounded rectangle again. And in step two, go to 21, cause that you can make a smaller one but thicker. About that, go to your fill tool, fill that in, and you're basically done with that. You're gonna move it over to about right there and then hit control A. After that you're gonna to go to text. In the same layer, you're gonna hit text, select the white, type in tube, and select your font size. And if you messed up, just uh, press control Z and type again. So mine's going to look like that. The next thing you're going to do is open up a new layer and type in U with a black text this time. Same uh, font size, just different color. And you're just going to paste it right there, hit control A, go back to layer 2 and select the magic wand tool. Select the red, then hold down control while pressing the little spots that are left. After that, you're going to go to your gradient and you're going to select, you're going to reverse them so the white's on top and the secondary color, which is black right now, you're going to uh, change to the same red that you used to fill the background tube in. And then we're just going to draw. A little highlight down and my hands kind of out of control right now about that big is going to be your highlight and you can adjust that later so this is how to make a YouTube logo in paint.net and it's not going to be as professional as in game 2 but it still looks good and the screenshot of 7 please rate subscribe and comment for more how to's and videos